Today we're looking how to change out the electronic start box on your Humvee. This right here is the KDS Smart Start System that I purchased from that website, Those Military Guys. That seems to be my uh, source for parts this week. Uh, this right here is an upgraded version from what I currently have. Uh, as, and the way you can tell that, it has a diagnostic port on it. Uh, apparently this uh, remedies a lot of um, grounding interruptions and uh, I don't know, several other things that uh, hopefully will just improve the overall workings of the uh, starting. Um, replacing of this is a, uh, a lever of many uh, electrical issues that I'm, uh, we'll be solving today, but uh, like a hard start, severe smoking, um, it's all part of the mix, but uh, yeah, this right here, hopefully I'll leave it. Uh, anyways, to switch this out, pretty straightforward actually. Uh, you're going to take some appropriate uh, channel lockers or pliers. Uh, this right here is the top access port, just a, a locking collar, that's all it is. Uh, just grab it and uh, unwind, it'll work its way off. And then the act, um, bolts to the hold the start box, which is underneath this area right here, they are here, which is uh, one of the bolts from the grounding wire harness video, uh, here, and then two on the outside, these are 7 16 bolts. Uh, the nut obviously is incorporated into the start box itself, so they don't have to worry about anything falling through. Just uh, attack the uh, bolts and just back them out and it should be good. On the inside here, it's just a uh, this port right here, there's only one. Uh, it's a manual uh, locking collar. Just spin that and that walked off in about 10 seconds right here. Uh, and that's it from the inside. When Putting it all back together, good idea, a little dielectric grease into the ports to help protect. And then a buddy of mine always said, every nut and bolt gets anti-seize or Loctite. So uh, considering you, if you, uh, you, uh, you know, do something without uh, disconnecting the battery, you may uh, in the future cook this thing too. Um, so if you have to go back, it's always good to uh, put a little anti-seize, I think, on the threads as um, I did get a lot of resistance and corrosion um, when I took this off, I had to clean, had to clean up. It took me a few minutes to do that, uh, but not, but not a big deal. Um, so yeah, uh, two ports, four bolts, a little uh, anti-seize and dielectric grease, and uh, you're back in business. And that's how to change a start box on the Humvee.